Hey guys, Chip here, and I got a new update for KitOps users. We have updates for both KitOps Free and KitOps Pro, and I call this the Born Edition. And there's also an update for Synth as well. So let's uh, get started. First of all, as far as the free version goes, and of course, all of these same features are now updated in KitOps Pro as well. There are some interesting things that we've updated. So first off, I am going to add this insert with auto scale turned off. So here it is, and I'm going to use the mouse wheel to scroll it uh, in size. And as I scroll it, notice that it comes in at a certain size, which is 15.312. And now when I go to add it again, it's going to remember that size. So before we'd have to You'd have to scroll it all over again. So the new kit ops remembers whatever size it was that you originally set it at. So that's one of the new features. Another feature in this, if you go into, let's say we'll go into something like this and let's choose this last one in the MA objects complex K pack. And then you hit this refresh button. It's going to remember where you left off. So before when you hit refresh, you'd end up all the way at the very beginning and the top of your KPAX list. Those are two features that are included for both KitOps Free and KitOps Pro. And as you may remember, our last update was really focused mostly on KitOps Free and a lot of cool things that you can do with it. Now there's some really cool updates now for KitOps Pro. And in particular, the biggest one is snapping. And check this out. Let's find an insert like this duplex receptacle. And we're going to add it on here. But what's cool is we're going to set the snap mode to none, face, edge, or vertex. So we'll take a look at each of these. Of course, none is the way it normally happens. If I click face and I add the insert, it's going to snap to the center of whatever face that my mouse is hovering over. Now, with it selected, while I'm still moving it around, I can use the N button for none and it gets me out of the face snap mode. Or I can use the V button for vertex, and it's going to snap to the corner of vertexes. So you can see how that works. And also, check this out, I can actually use the E button for edge. And now I'm snapping to the edge, and edge has another feature. If I hit C, it'll snap to the center of that. So how cool is that? So that's brand new in KitOps Pro, the Born Edition. Definitely want to check it out. Okay, there's one more significant change in KitOps Pro, and that is, check this out, I'm going to basically take this and I want to select something like this cube, for instance, and I'm going to say create insert, but it's dimmed. It won't allow me to create insert before I could do this. And the reason why is it's asking me to save the file before proceeding. And of course, I'll go in, I'll just use power save, and I've saved it, now it's available. Now, the reason why we did this is because every time we create an insert, we will automatically save the scene. And this is helping with a lot of robustness issues, a lot of issues where people come out of factory mode and things aren't the way they thought they left them. So now we're requiring you to save the scene first, and then we will from then on automatically save the scene as we go into factory mode. And then when we exit, we're going to revert back to that scene that we saved. And that's real important, and it creates a much smoother workflow. Now let's talk a little bit about synth as well. So most of you know that Synth has seven different channels and you can put lots of different things in each one of these channels and you can use Synth to place those things. But one of the things that we've been finding is that many people need more than seven. They may need 10 or 12. And so we've added this new feature in Synth where you can hit the plus button and you add another row down here. Now, if you want to delete it, you just hit the X button, of course, and that'll delete the row. This is something that I've been wanting for a while. And I think you're going to start to see some new recipes that take advantage of this that can do some pretty amazing things. So Synth also has an update, and we're also calling it the Born Edition. Both of these updates are available now, and as usual, both of them are free. So just go to where you purchased or downloaded KitOps, and you will be able to get your free upgrade. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you online. Bye.